hello Professor Herd. Uh, thank you very much for taking the time to have this very short interview on your recent publication, uh, Transport Medicine and Bio Biopsy in the Diagnosis of Medicinal Lesions. Could you quickly describe the setup of your randomized controlled trial and what were the key findings? Yeah, sure, great pleasure. The, the issue is a little bit, uh, we have people's TBNA to have access to the mediastinum. We have good data for lung cancer, but when we have rare disease, lymphoma, cycroids, we need more tissue. And therefore, we decided to do a trial where we open with a little cutting of your electrolyte, the airways, and then putting under EVO's control the 1.1 cryoprobe in the lesion to take out more tissue, and that is what the result was. Especially in non lung cancer lesion, it's way better to take the cryoprobe because we're getting more specimens, and by having more specimens, we have a higher percentage of the diagnostic procedure. So, which impact on the further NSCLC patient course has the finding of the 93% cryoproof samples that are suitable for PCR testing versus only 73% on the TBNA samples? Yeah, the, the point is always what you need from that patient. Then we just want to know that it's lung cancer, the cytology by the needle is good enough. But when we knowing that the lesion is, is the only lesion we can reach, then I want to take out more material to do, to do NGS testing, to do that, to do that, and to do this. So therefore, when we planning a procedure, we're seeing the easy, accessible lesion is the mediastinum. Then we're going and taking the bio. So, and you also described the likelihood for a diagnostic bio biopsy specimen was independent of patient characteristics, niche size of stations. What is your hypothesis on this observation? Yeah, the, the, point, the point is quite simple. We can say there are no limitations for the bio biopsy, so therefore we analyze it if some lesion is better than the other, but there's no contraindication. When you have a lesion which you can reach by the ebuscope and the ebus DNA needle, you also can reach it by the cryo biopsy probe. And the result is, depending to the questions, when you need more information than cancer, yes, no, better than only looking to the cells. also had a recent publication on primary mediastinal large B cells lymphoma achieved by non ordinary assistant transponder mediastinal cryo biopsy. So where do you see the benefits? Yeah, the, the point is that for sure, yeah, I think in lymphoma it will become the standard of diagnostic procedure in the, in the near future. We just submitted the next trial, which at the moment I'm under review. I know the data, so you, the world, can read it, but it will confirm that we, when we have non lung cancer lesion in the mediastinum, cryobiopsy will become the new standard.